Hey everybody, Alan here. Welcome to the channel and thank you for tuning into the channel. Your support means so much. It's awesome. I'm at like uh, 8.6k subscribers at the time of this video and you guys are making it fun to make videos for you. So today we're, are, we are unboxing the Arcdroid. I've been wanting to get this thing for so long. B&A kind of apprentice. No, what did I say? Uh, mediocre wouldn't be a lie anyway since i like to play with metal this is something i've always wanted and of course we're not going to need just the arc joint i'm going to need a plasma cutter which is something the shop has never had that is also on the way hopefully it'll be here in time to finish this video of course that would be pretty sweet to do some cuts for you uh, it might just be an unboxing and building though at the moment but we'll see what happens. I got a couple few days. So I had gotten this thing simply because I wanted it. Now, I, if you've got been following along, you'll know that I have been working on my pickup truck over there. And I made that roll pan. You saw too much already. But I'm having trouble, you know, getting these fins made out of metal. They the company that I have in town uh, doesn't have a capability of like 3D scanning or uh, tracing like the Arctroid does. So I just decided enough's enough. I want to start making my own parts anyway. I need a plasma cutter. This thing is going to make stuff in the future so much easier making brackets and you know whatever else can fit in it dimensionally. But the problem would have been well, you know, you can get these. These are all right angles, and this would have been easy enough. The one, two, three right angles right there. That would have been easy enough, and measuring this would have been easy enough, but getting this curve would have taken, and the fact that it's wider here, and then it gets narrower as it goes this way, it would have taken a lot of trial and error drawing on the computer, and then they'd have to cut it out in either something cheap steel or maybe a piece of cardboard i don't know how they do it and then it would be a bunch of trial and error they'd have to match it up to my template and it would cost more than the job is really worth so so here i am with an arc droid and a plasma cutter on the way we're going to get this unboxed all right so we'll get right into it and i have not watched any videos on how to put this together I've seen Grind Hard Plumbing Company. I love those guys. This is the first time, first place I saw this thing. And it was pretty sweet. So we got some aluminum brackets. The American or US 120 plug. It's got just for smooth motion. Some sort of controller on here. There's a couple cords in here. Three different cords in here. That's the data cord. And this other cord with like a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Power cord, of course. And there's three pointed solid brass things here. Little fittings. Stickers. The whole reason I bought it. <laughs> so as you can see... The state parks and rec are pulling people over. But as you can see, I still got my exhaust hanging out here from the pickup truck because like I said, I'm still in the middle of making that other video, the air diffuser video. If you guys have been following along on my Instagram, you would have seen a bunch of pictures by now. I think that was the bag the stickers were in. You've got this thing. I don't know what that is. That looks like the tracing pen from some of the videos I've seen on people using it. Not assembling it. I'm not cheating. I haven't seen any assembly videos. That's another similar piece. It's pretty nifty. That looks like the piece that'll hold. Okay, yeah. So you swap it out here. One piece will be for the tracing, and then you swap it out and put in the piece that holds the plasma gun. Okay. It's too 
too heavy. I don't want to lift it by the arm itself. I'm trying to grab the bottom of the base here. here. Nope. What's going on here? I gotta take the styrofoam out. I'm about to just dump it upside down. Requires the wiggle. It's not terribly heavy, it's just I'm bent over. That's the guy. Look at that beauty. Come here. Now I can't get underneath it. Like I said, I don't want to yank up on the arm. A big bag candy. Nice, thanks guys. Here it is out of the box. Upside down. Great filming. Yeah. There we go. Got some tape there. We'll leave the tape there for now. No, we can't. It's gonna have to get freed. It's attached to here. I hear a switch here. Power cord's gonna go in here, and then the data cord's gonna come from here over to this thing and then you've got a USB port too for plugging in your other stuff, other jobs if you want to do an outside job on another computer I guess and then you've got this cord there's the power there's the data and then you've got this cord which has a tip in it already a brass tip and there's three more right here they look to all be the same but I can't see where this jack plugs in yet. And then you've got this cord here that has a headphone jack. So it's got to plug in somewhere over here if that hooks up. I don't know what's going on. No directions on assembling it here. There's just some terminology identification, how to use the screen a little bit, some basics anyway. And then some of these terminology definitions here and some screen settings here. It does say that in order for the Archoid to activate the plasma cutter, you have to um, wire it to the back of the Archoid. Like here, like these are speaker connectors, like a style almost. So that's gonna be interesting. I have to go online to watch a video though to see how to hook that up. But we can't even do that yet because I don't have my plasma cutter, so I think I am going to watch some videos. They're directions. I'm going to go watch some directions. So give your uh, machine a good look over. This was hanging out and I was moving this up and down and realized this was stuck out. So that's going to have to make sure that stays in its place. I'm going to have to remove this tape here oh there we go and actually that wants to sit upright kind of like that so there we go just notice this sticker another good reason why you should not lift this thing out of the box by the arm you don't want to tweak on that connection and this is a button I don't know what that does not really candy, by the way. Do not eat that. Well, it has been weeks, guys, since the last scene you just watched. I have not put out a video in, it's probably getting near a month. Life happens. I haven't given up on the channel, don't worry. I'm still, everything's right where I left it. Like, I'm not 
quitting on anything. I'm not doing stuff without you. Um, if you guys have been following along, you probably might have an idea. You know, stuff happens. But uh, so, well, let's just get right back into it. Not only that, the puppies came in here right after I had everything laid out and, you know, taking pictures and stuff and chewed up this calibration sensor. So I couldn't even finish setting it up to use the dang thing. So that's where we're at. Let's uh, get the new one in here. Boop. Just like that. Now, it's not the exact replacement for some reason. I don't know what the happened. But this is the original. That's all chewed up. And the two screw holes are more inboard. Where these two screw holes are more outboard. And they could not... They didn't have the plastic piece, I guess. They said they could only get me this piece. Uh, but now <laughs> I can only get one of the three screws in place, but hopefully it'll still work. And now we got to assemble the triangle here. This is uh, for calibrating. Whoa. Okay, go something like that. You got one, two, and then three over here so something they don't mention in the artroid videos is anything about the numbers or if there's like a specific direction but this he said this is supposed to walk you through it so we'll see and these actually they've machined them out so everything sits flush and you have these two extra ends the guy in the video was using these to clamp it down and hold it still so I don't have a table, so I don't know how much clamping I'll be doing. Okay, so I just plugged it in and it automatically booted up here, so I don't know if this switch was already on. Yeah, that turned it off. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take this off. On there so it says current calibration looks valid next to calibrate base on it or use default to start from defaults so let's just use default place machine on flat level surface calibrate fixture in front of machine okay we gotta line it up like that okay press next there it goes. I was going to say, it's like, how am I supposed to get that on there if that doesn't come up? Okay. That was crazy. This is... What does it say? Homing. Attach stylus. Leave shuttle plugged in. And press next. Kind of tight to slide on, but I mean it's precision. We're going to start at number one. Place shuttle on rail at position one. Lower stylus onto cone, aligning hole on tip. Move shuttle and tool slowly to the other end. Press next when done. Oh. It moved off of the tip. Okay, I guess we gotta...
Let me go back. This isn't gonna work, guys. Here, I'm out here just sweating to death. It's getting warm. I gotta make a table. I mean, I can't cut nothing. I can't clamp nothing down. That grate was like all I had. Terrible idea. My table's being used. So stay tuned. We will get. We will cut something. Um, we gotta make a table. Then we can cut some metal for the fins. After we finish the fins on the truck, we can finish the transmission for the Magnum out there. So stay tuned, we got all that stuff to do. I got all my new parts in, the parts I was waiting for, for the transmission, the steel pack from PDQ Transmission. Great guys, Americans. Yeah, I mean, that's like the best quality about them. But stay tuned. <laughs> and uh, we'll get some cutting some stuff. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think about the Arc Droid. Because this opens up a lot of doors. I could start making my own emblems. I can start making the brackets or like that panel that went in the front of my cross member. I had people asking to make those and buy those. So now I can make a template and I can make carbon copies, right? Perf perfect copies and carbon. Now everybody's gonna think I'm making carbon fiber stuff. But thanks for watching. I appreciate it, the help, the views, the subscribers, it's all been amazing. It's been fun. And again, I'm sorry for taking so long to get another video out to you guys. Um, but like I said, I'm not giving up. My garage is still here. I still got crap to do, so stay tuned. Please subscribe, please like. Please check out my other social media outlets, TikTok, Instagram, uh facebook uh, it's all some form of gg speed shop or gibson garage ss uh, but it's got the you know the red logo with the white skull and the helmet that's me just like on my youtube channel all right we'll see you later